that might end up with her being buried in a temple and her lost tomb could be found. What if the story of Queen Cleopatra didn't end with her death? In a remarkable twist, archaeologists have recently unearthed the long-lost tomb of Queen Cleopatra, concealed beneath the mystical Egyptian sands for over 2,000 years. This extraordinary discovery has unveiled an ancient treasure trove, offering a glimpse into the life and legacy of this spectacular queen. After centuries of speculation and wonder, the unearthing of Cleopatra's hidden tomb poses many intriguing questions. Where precisely was this ancient tomb discovered? What astonishing artifacts lie alongside the queen's resting place? Let's embark on a captivating journey as we delve into the discovery of Cleopatra's tomb and its secrets. She is my heroine, and I will try to do everything I can to find her tomb. Over the past two decades, archaeologists and researchers have discovered astonishing ancient tombs that redefined ancient civilization. These breathtaking discoveries have sent shivers down our spines, with the tomb of the Griffin Warrior unearthed in Greece in 2015 being one of the most spectacular. The treasures discovered include a bronze sword with an ivory hilt, gold jewelry, and a seal stone depicting a mythical griffin. Another remarkable discovery was the tomb of the sunken skulls in Mexico, dating back to 2007, which contained the remains of 12 mummies, including children with deformed skulls. While these ancient discoveries are quite shocking, none of them compare to the grandeur and significance surrounding the lost tomb of Queen Cleopatra. Two astounding reasons set it apart, its immense wealth and its hidden unparalleled secrets. After centuries of searching for Cleopatra's legendary tomb, a daring archaeologist named Martinez has finally found it, alongside some astonishing artifacts. But before we delve into the contents of Cleopatra's tomb, it's important to understand why this discovery holds such tremendous significance. Who exactly was Cleopatra? Long in the sands of time, there was a powerful queen named Cleopatra VII. She was popularly known as the Queen of Kings and had a fascinating reputation. Cleopatra is one of the most powerful women ever to come out of the ancient Mediterranean world. Many stories were told about her, some of which exaggerated certain details. But one popular tale depicted Cleopatra as having a special power to seduce anyone and make them do her bidding. This power wielded by Cleopatra supposedly caused the dissolution of alliances among friends and even affected the mighty Roman Empire. While there was some truth to these stories, they were often blown out of proportion to fit different narratives about Cleopatra. But who was Cleopatra? Let's find out. Before we go any further, it's essential to understand that Cleopatra, like many historical figures hungry for power, was not merely a seductress who relied solely on her beauty to manipulate men. She was a complex individual who employed desperate measures to achieve her goals. Cleopatra was an intelligent and multilingual female pharaoh who asserted her authority over Egypt and other regions. Although she possessed beauty, she had something extraordinary that would captivate every man who saw her. However, what truly set her apart was her captivating personality, conversational skills, and how she carried herself in every interaction. In ancient Egypt, Cleopatra was born into a family of noble lineage. She belonged to the renowned Ptolemaic dynasty, a line of rulers with a great history. Cleopatra's destiny was clear from a young age. She was destined for greatness. However, Egypt's political climate was far from stable during her upbringing. The kingdom was plagued by power struggles and rivalries as factions competed for control. Cleopatra's family became entangled in a complex web of alliances and betrayals amid this turmoil. Cleopatra's rise to the throne was tied to her marrying her brother, Ptolemy VIII. Together they were expected to usher in Egypt's new era of prosperity. But their partnership was far from harmonious, creating a twist in the event. Cleopatra also realized that her brother lacked the wisdom and strength to govern a kingdom. She understood the importance of becoming a formidable leader who commanded respect and loyalty. Armed with her sharp intellect and magnetic presence, she embarked on a journey to win over the hearts and minds of her people. Determined to establish her authority, she faced numerous challenges. But amidst all her obstacles, Cleopatra possessed a remarkable combination of intelligence, education, and linguistic prowess. 
She was not only well-versed in her native Egyptian language, but also fluent in multiple languages, including Greek and Latin. This linguistic skill allowed her to communicate effectively with a wide range of people, fostering connections and understanding beyond the borders of Egypt. One of Cleopatra's key leadership endeavors was the modernization of Egypt and strengthening its economy. She recognized the importance of innovation and progress, implementing reforms to improve infrastructure, agriculture, and trade. Under her leadership, Egypt flourished with advancements in irrigation systems, expanded trade networks, and increased agricultural productivity. These efforts brought prosperity to the kingdom and elevated its status on the world stage. Cleopatra was also a master of diplomacy, forging strategic alliances with influential leaders of her time. She famously formed a relationship with Julius Caesar, the powerful Roman general and statesman. Cleopatra's collaboration with Caesar secured her position on the throne and benefited Egypt in numerous ways. She utilized her influence to negotiate favorable trade agreements, ensure the protection of Egyptian interests, and establish a strong bond between Egypt and Rome. Following Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra's attention turned to Mark Antony, another influential Roman leader. The dust of war settled, bringing calmness back to the realm. Mark Anthony, now ruling the Eastern Roman Empire, called Cleopatra to his palace. He questioned her loyalty to the Roman Empire and criticized her for not sending troops to the battlefields. Cleopatra cleverly explained that she did send her troops, but they arrived on the battlefield late. Despite being married to Octavian's sister Octavia, Mark Anthony was immediately charmed by Cleopatra's brilliance during their meeting. Their romance became legendary, immortalized in paintings, songs, and literature. Cleopatra bore three children for Mark Anthony, solidifying their bond. Their alliance was political and romantic, and together they formed a formidable force. Cleopatra's diplomatic skills were crucial in maintaining a stable relationship between Egypt and Rome during political turbulence. Cleopatra's reign was not solely focused on politics and economy, she also made significant contributions to the cultural and intellectual development of Alexandria, the capital of Egypt. Alexandria became a center of learning and artistic brilliance under her patronage. Cleopatra's most notable contribution was the Library of Alexandria, which housed a vast collection of scrolls and manuscripts from different times. This library became a beacon of knowledge and attracted scholars and intellectuals worldwide. Cleopatra's support for the arts, sciences, and literature created an environment that fostered creativity and intellectual growth. Cleopatra's influence over Mark Anthony grew, so their relationship met significant disapproval. Octavian, feeling betrayed by his friend's behavior towards his sister, became resentful. While Mark Anthony's love for Cleopatra intensified, the once strong friendship between Mark Anthony and Octavian began to fade. This angered the Roman leaders, who found their relationship unacceptable. They decided to wage war against Mark Anthony and Cleopatra without reasonable grounds. The Battle of Actium became the turning point for Mark Anthony and Cleopatra. It marked Octavian's ascension as the sole emperor of Rome and sent a clear message to Mark Anthony that he was now considered an enemy. The battle ended in heavy losses for Mark Anthony and Cleopatra, forcing them to flee. According to various sources such as Strabo, Plutarch, and Dio, it is said that after being misinformed of Cleopatra's suicide, Mark Anthony stabbed himself multiple times. He was then carried to Cleopatra, where she wept profusely, calling him her master and husband. She smeared his blood on her face, covered him with her cloth, and dressed herself in royal attire. Cleopatra attempted suicide several times but failed. Eventually, she let a live poisonous cobra snake bite her, causing her to die from its venom. The events of Cleopatra's suicide were confirmed by her physician, Olympus, making this version the most trusted among other possible versions. The story of Cleopatra portrays her as a true lover, a diplomat, and a passionate leader who would stop at nothing to sustain the legacy of her dynasty. Where was Cleopatra's tomb discovered, and what did archaeologists find within the tomb? The story of Cleopatra as a legendary lover and leader has no face to it. Despite her significant historical role, no one knows where she was buried, which has driven archaeologists into a frantic search. Throughout the centuries, scholars and historians have debated the exact location of Cleopatra's famous tomb. Many believed it to be in Alexandria, her hometown. But why Alexandria? 
The answer lay in the indelible marks Cleopatra had left on the city. In her quest for mystery and secrecy, she had chosen the temple of the goddess Isis as her sanctuary. This temple stood as a silent guardian, protecting the secrets of a bygone era. However, natural disasters such as earthquakes and rising sea levels have submerged a significant portion of the city under 20 feet of Mediterranean seawater. This has made searching for her tomb nearly impossible. Recently, attention had turned to a desert temple near Alexandria. Researchers speculated that Cleopatra, known for her strategic thinking, might have chosen a tomb in a place of greater spiritual significance. This theory suggests that she could have arranged for her mummified remains to rest undisturbed in a sacred place alongside her beloved Antony. The first expedition in search of the Queen of the Nile began in 1992, when underwater archaeologist Frank Gardo conducted extensive explorations of the waters around Alexandria in the early 2000s. Although no evidence of Cleopatra's tomb was uncovered during these expeditions, most mainstream archaeologists still believe that Cleopatra was likely buried in an underwater tomb in Alexandria. In November 2006, the renowned Egyptologist Zahi Hawass, then the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, revealed the key features of an archaeological site. He and his team had been tirelessly searching for Cleopatra's tomb for the past year. Previous attempts had only involved excavations around potential sites, but this time, they had a well-thought-out plan to uncover Egypt's last queen. The urgency to find Cleopatra's tomb was palpable. The story had fascinated people for centuries, and the search was filled with anticipation and excitement. The fate of this remarkable woman, whose name echoed through history, was yet to be discovered. The archaeologists and excavators were determined to unveil the final resting place of Cleopatra, a place shrouded in mystery, waiting to reveal its secrets. Two decades ago, a daring and resolute archaeologist named Martinez embarked on a mysterious journey. Fueled by an unshakable belief, she was determined to uncover Cleopatra's concealed burial site. Martinez set her sights on Taposiris Magna, an ancient temple dedicated to the god of the dead. Martinez was firmly convinced that this temple held the key to her quest. For ten relentless years, Martinez dedicated herself to carrying out thorough research, but unearthing the tomb, hidden in the Shroud of Time, proved to be a difficult task. After carefully calculating the ideal location of the legendary tomb of Cleopatra, Martinez tirelessly sought a way to unravel the tomb. After numerous attempts and persistent efforts, including multiple unanswered emails, she eventually secured a meeting with Zahi Hawass, a prominent archaeologist and former head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities in Cairo. This meeting played a significant role in solving many mysteries that had confounded Martinez, providing a source of hope in their pursuit of this extraordinary discovery. It was like a ray of light piercing through a dark tunnel. They left no stone unturned fully aware that finding the tomb of a legend like Cleopatra could be the most significant finding of the 21st century. The quest for Cleopatra's tomb is not without controversies and debates. Competing theories, conflicting historical accounts, and the challenge of locating a tomb lost to the sands of time have fueled scholarly discussions. Some argue that Cleopatra's tomb may have been deliberately concealed or destroyed to prevent desecration, while others believe it remains hidden in plain sight, waiting to be uncovered. In the heart of Alexandria, Egypt, a team of brave archaeologists embarked on a daring mission. Their goal was to uncover the long-lost tomb of the legendary Queen Cleopatra. With unwavering determination and the aid of cutting-edge technology, they delved into the secrets of this ancient city, where whispers of the past echoed through the sands. After years of tireless searching, a breakthrough shook the world. The archaeologists discovered the hidden entrance to Cleopatra's tomb deep beneath the layers of time, hidden from prying eyes. It was a moment that would reshape history, a triumph reverberating through the ages. As the archaeologists ventured deeper into the labyrinthine city of Taposiris Magna, a revelation awaited them, sending shivers down their spines. They uncovered a colossal tunnel, a marvel of ancient architecture, buried 13 meters beneath the surface. The purpose and significance of this tunnel became the subject of intense speculation. 
Miss Martinez, the unyielding archaeologist who had dedicated her life to this quest, saw in this underground wonder a glimmer of hope. Could this tunnel be the key to unraveling Cleopatra's final resting place? In an interview with National Geographic, Miss Martinez passionately expressed her conviction that this tunnel might guide her to the tomb of Cleopatra and her lover, Mark Antony. Archaeologists made a remarkable discovery deep within the ancient site of Taposiris Magna. They unearthed a vast collection of priceless artifacts, ranging from fragments of ancient pottery to a mysterious rectangular piece of limestone. However, despite these exciting findings, one elusive treasure remained hidden, the tomb of Cleopatra. Whispers of its existence spread, and it was believed to be the paramount revelation of the 21st century. Yet, its secrets remained locked away, concealed by time. The archaeologists faced numerous challenges in their quest to find Cleopatra's tomb. The numerous occurrences of earthquakes between 330 and 1303 CE cast a malevolent shroud over their efforts. It seemed as if the earth conspired to bury Cleopatra's final resting place, erasing vital clues to her sanctuary. However, a newfound tunnel emerged, beckoning like a siren's call. Could this subterranean labyrinth hold the key to Cleopatra and her beloved Mark Antony? As the archaeologists delved deeper into the depths, they discovered mummies adorned with golden shrouds of royalty and a chilling cemetery filled with Greco-Roman-style sarcophagi. Their eyes were fixed upon the temple as they found numerous unearthly artifacts, further proving Martinez's audacious theory. Among these artifacts was a royal tomb concealed beneath the sands, a sanctuary laden with golden mummies and silver treasures intended to guide the pharaohs into the afterlife. It was an unmatched experience, a journey through time that intimately connected us to Cleopatra and the grandeur of ancient Egypt. Martinez, the visionary behind the expedition, imagined Cleopatra's first words if her lost tomb were discovered. She envisioned herself approaching Cleopatra's sarcophagus, touching it and saying, The world has never forgotten you, Queen Cleopatra. Martinez's unwavering belief in the tomb's existence would be vindicated if it were found. Over 2,000 years had passed since the queen outsmarted everyone by concealing her eternal resting place. Even in the face of military defeat, Cleopatra took her own life following Mark Antony's suicide. Although the triumphant Romans plundered her legacy and life story as an undefeated queen, Cleopatra ensured that her tomb would never be found. She outwitted Emperor Augustus, the Roman army, and countless historians and archaeologists who had sought her for centuries. But was Cleopatra a Roman prisoner at the time of her death? Yes, she was. Although she was in captivity, Cleopatra vanished, refusing to bow her head before her foes. She vowed to die as a queen and ensured that her remains, along with those of Mark Antony, were forever concealed from the Romans and their descendants. The lost tomb of Queen Cleopatra is not merely a tale of history. It is a heart-pounding adventure that challenges the very fabric of time itself. It is a story of courage, intellect, and an insatiable thirst for knowledge that knows no bounds. As our discussion ends, we leave you with a sense of wonder and intrigue. The past has a way of reaching out to us in the most unexpected and thrilling ways. When found, what would Cleopatra's tomb look like? Over the years, many ancient tombs and mummies have been discovered, but none of them had the expected features of the mysterious leader, Cleopatra. If Cleopatra's tomb is discovered, it is expected to showcase the architectural splendor and grandeur reminiscent of the ancient Egyptian civilization. The tomb may feature intricate carvings, hieroglyphic inscriptions, and symbolic representations associated with the pharaonic tradition. Examining similar tombs from the era can provide insight into the potential design and layout of Cleopatra's final resting place. Ancient Egyptian tombs were often adorned with exquisite artwork, reflecting the beliefs and customs of the time. Cleopatra's tomb, if found, could contain stunning frescoes, burial artifacts, and funerary objects. These artistic elements are expected to provide valuable clues about her life, religious practices, and cultural influences. Understanding the burial practices and rituals associated with Cleopatra's tomb can shed light on her religious beliefs and the customs of the time. 
Ancient Egyptians placed great importance on proper funeral rites, including mummification, elaborate processions, and the inclusion of burial artifacts. Exploring these practices can deepen our understanding of Cleopatra's cultural heritage. Cleopatra's tomb holds immense symbolic and cultural significance. As the last pharaoh of Egypt, her burial place represents the end of an era and the decline of Egyptian sovereignty. The discovery of her tomb would offer insights into the political, social, and cultural dynamics of the time, further enriching our understanding of ancient Egypt and its connections to the wider Mediterranean world. The potential discovery of Cleopatra's tomb would undoubtedly significantly impact Egyptian tourism. The allure of this legendary queen, combined with the historical and archaeological significance of her tomb, would attract visitors from around the globe. The influx of tourists would contribute to the local economy and promote cultural exchange and appreciation for Egypt's rich heritage. According to archaeologists, preserving and restoring Cleopatra's tomb, if discovered, would be of paramount importance. Advanced conservation techniques would be employed to safeguard the architectural integrity, artwork, and artifacts within the tomb. Collaborative efforts between archaeologists, historians, and specialists would ensure the preservation of this invaluable historical site for future generations. Now, we invite you to share your thoughts. Do you believe Cleopatra's tomb will finally be discovered? Tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.